Bird loses the bat. He broke it. He broke the bat. How did that, he break the bat? <laughs> that bat <laughs> had to be broken. It must have, right? I don't know. You've seen the size of his forearms. Yeah, but that, he, he really didn't check. It was a little bit of a check swing, yeah. wasn't it? Jim Rice did that once on a check swing. He just said, I'm, I'm just too strong. That no, 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 broke. no. <laughs> that bat broke on the swing, right? Yeah. It wasn't a check swing. The, the inertia, the momentum of the swing broke that bat. Game took over at third base for Wilmer Flores. <laughs> Well, the boys in the audio room. Yeah, that's on you. It's it happens. You can tell he's talking to the. Wow. That knocked. The players are coming off the field whether they want them to or not. Yeah. The f Holy Warner. cow. Willingham at first base went down on all fours. I don't blame him. Wow. That knocked me down. That thing came out of nowhere. Sure did. My goodness. So we're going to have a, a delay here. More of lightning and safety right now than anything. And Chuck Morgan's suggestion is being heated by the folks in the upper deck. The 2-2. Two -two. Got a piece of it. Good, had a good piece of it and, and actually had a real good swing. Oh, look at this. There go the sprinklers. The sprinklers have fired just on the infield, but Pedro, soaking wet, has to walk right through it. He's trying to pitch back at That's one of the oldest phrases in baseball. He knocked the cover off the ball. He literally hit the cover off the baseball. And Pedro's fielding it. What's he going to do? He's got to throw it that way. Got to throw a changeup. My that goodness. Just when you think you've seen it all, you see a man literally knock the cover off the baseball. Now time is called. We've got a fan running onto the field. Hey, and Matt Diaz comes over and issues a body block and helps the security people take that fool down. Outstanding. And the security guy yet that's in real good shape here in Philadelphia, so this guy gets blindsided by the Braves outfielder. Oh, tripping. <laughs> uh, he's lucky that wasn't Mike Curtis clotheslining him. And that's the only reason we're showing this idiot was to show the play by Matt Diaz. Still marveling at that swing he made at Gomez take on that slider. Look at that. Is that a catch? It's in his mask. Ball never hit the ground on a foul tip, two strikes. I think there's Velcro on his mask. I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Watch this. Foul tip. I got it. <laughs> and I'm going to keep my eye on the ball. Oh, my goodness. Unbelievable. When will it end? When the season's over. <laughs> and maybe not even then. Look at that. Did that, uh, did that break something on his mask? Something spark. Something flew off that. <laughs> oh my goodness. I've seen it all now. Nubbed. Down the third base line. Pena hoping it goes back there and it does. Swisher's going to be out. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, Pena. that is terrible for Nick Swisher. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful, Brian Pena. Swisher's going to hear about this. Would be the the vaunted Giants rotation allowing oh, the most that's a balk, that's a balk. the most uh, home runs. Now you get checked on. Let's go make sure he's okay. Well, and that's the second time tonight that he's had a problem with his footing. It's not the mound; it's just catching his cleat. 
And uh, a, a sartorial issue here. There, there's the team name, Chicago Cubs, so it does work. It's got the right color. Yeah, it's gray. Maybe, uh, maybe there was a, something went wrong with his other one. Missing a button or something. Two homers in as many days, five on the season, and there's a drive toward right field. Turner Ward going over, makes a great diving catch, and we lost Turner Ward. He goes up and through the wall, apparently. Run scores on the sacrifice fly, and Ward appears hurt, and obviously, because as we said, we lost him. It was a uh, possibly he went through a door out there in right field, but literally he was gone. All right, Pat Venditti, it's one of the more anticipated Major League debuts. The switch pitcher. This is kind of fun. Well, the, you can see the glove. It's actually two webbings, two thumbs. And Kurt Young said it best. He's here to get out. He's yep. not here to have people wonder how he's going to be able to do all these things. But right now it's a left-handed hitter, so... We anticipate when Ramirez comes up, he'll switch around and throw right-handed. Right now, left-handed to Holt. First pitch is a strike on the inside corner. You know, you see young kids come up, young kids being 21, 22, make their major league debut. But, man, you fight as you have for, to your 29. And I think we have some interested people right there. In the front row. Well, there, there's a, there's a. Yeah, there, there's a group here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, they're here, but those are just A's fans. And yeah. oh, now he threw out from the right side. <laughs> Ramirez right. can't understand what's going on. The old one pitched to Ramirez, hit into left field the base hit. Kind of like maybe hit it off the end yeah. of the bat a little bit. So the Vendetti rule for ambidextrous pitchers: the pitcher must visually indicate to the umpire, batter, and runner. Which way he will begin pitching to the batter, engaging the rubber with the glove on the particular hand, which which would be the deciding factor. The batter then can choose which side of the plate he will bat from. The pitcher then has to pitch with that hand for the entire at bat. Any switch must be clearly indicated to the umpire. Nor no warm up pitches during a change. 